Hi, meet Dave. He works as a network administrator at Voonair Airlines, one of the largest airline companies in the world. They operate flights to all major tourist destinations and have a large IT environment to support their business. Voonair Airlines uses CA Spectrum to monitor its networks and devices round the clock. To simplify their network and boost communications, Voonair Airlines has been using Cisco Virtual Switching System, or VSS. Dave is excited because Voonair Airlines is upgrading to CA Spectrum 10.0 with the Cisco VSS support. Once the VSS device is modeled in CA Spectrum, chassis container models are created for the VSS device in the Cisco folder under the Chassis Manager. Let's navigate to CA Spectrum one-click to view the VSS devices. When you discover and model the VSS device, you can see the device under the Cisco folder. CA Spectrum detects the active and standby chassis. The active chassis is in solid green color and the standby chassis is in light green color. Expand the chassis models and check out the linked modules. One virtual switch member chassis acts as an active virtual switch while the other member is in standby state. Even though one member is in standby mode, both chassis act as active and forward the traffic. When one of the virtual switch members fails, there is no convergence of protocols in the network and no disruption occurs to the traffic flowing through the VSS. On the component detail pane, select the information tab and expand the Cisco virtual switch information section. This will give you various details about your Cisco VSS switch, such as chassis information and VSL connection information. Undock the component detail pane and browse to the general information section. CA Spectrum 10 also provides support for maintenance mode for the Cisco VSS switch. It lets you suspend management traffic to a VSS device and its components. Dock the component detail pane. Let's see the VSS device in the topology view. Undock the contents pane for a better view. The VSS device is modeled as a switch in the topology view. Dock the contents pane. Now let's see how CA Spectrum correlates dual active detected trap and chassis down. Dave navigates to the topology view. Here, both the VSS and RC are down. CA Spectrum 10 has a capability of isolating a network problem to the most probable faulty component. Here, CA Spectrum 10 automatically identifies the VSS switch as the most probable faulty component and suppresses alarms from the RC. Click the Alarm tab for more details. There is a critical alarm which says chassis is down. Select the alarm. Then, drill down to know more about the alarm. Click the Impact tab. Though there are three symptoms, Dave only got one alarm that says chassis is down. Do you know why? Expand symptoms. CA Spectrum 10 automatically correlates the dual active detected trap to chassis down and identifies chassis down as the single root cause. Now Dave can fix the issue with the Cisco VSS switch. Both the Cisco VSS switch and the associated devices are up again. Next, let's see how to use the locator tab to search all virtual switches. The search result shows all the available virtual switches. Under the VSS folder, you will see two options. The first one is all chassis containers. The second one is all VSS devices in the landscape. Dave can now keep his worries aside. So why not upgrade to CA Spectrum 10.0 today and monitor your Cisco VSS? To learn more, please visit our CA Education website.